So guys, the first annual VR game showcase is in the books and for those of us who have been engrossed in the world of VR for a while now, this was our moment. As this brief but punchy showcase did just that folks, showcase some hopefully high quality experiences for us VR enthusiasts to really dive into. Welcome to the simulation inside the simulation. I am too damn golden, your VR Voyager. So today as a part of the very first episode of a new weekly program I'm putting together called VR News Now or VRNN, um, we will be doing a brief recap of the first ever VR game showcase and taking a look at all the awesome titles that it brought us. So things definitely kicked off with a bang with veteran gaming studio IO Interactive debuting gameplay for the upcoming Hitman 3 VR remake for Quest headsets and this was admittedly a bit of a hit and miss for the studio as yes we the VR gamers were absolutely through the moon to get some actual gameplay footage from this one. And and it does in fact look like a full scale Hitman experience with features like dual wielding pistols, hiding knocked out enemies, and becoming a master of disguise by way of changing outfits, all featured. However, many spectators, including myself, were quick to point out that the stylized graphics, which obviously aren't the best, but they're definitely not the worst, they are a massive step back from the PC VR version, which honestly is a bit disappointing as we'd like to see a lot more of this so-called power from these headsets being put to better use. Now, I will say that I was a bit disappointed that there was actually no concrete release date given, um, but on the flip side of that, I am happy to see that this is a built for VR from the ground up experience uh, as opposed to one of those just quick cash grabs. So I am looking forward to this title still. And of course, with this being a franchise that I've loved since the original Xbox, I will be grabbing this one day one and dropping a review whenever we finally do get our hands on it. So be sure to smash that subscribe button to stay up to date with all your Hitman 3 news. But transitioning forward through the showcase, we were treated to the announcement of a nice new polished remake of the original Arizona Sunshine, the zombie shooting action hit that first touched VR headsets way back in 2016, and it promises to bring next-gen visuals and all DLC in a complete package, and this one is dropping on October 17th for Quest headsets, PC VR players, as well as PSVR 2 games, courtesy of course of Vertical Games, and from one major VR studio to another, Fast Travel Games had apparently had a very busy series of production cycles as during this showcase they announced a trio of new games including a brand new IP called Action Hero which as you've probably already guessed is an action adventure title. And this one looks pretty damn cool guys as clearly it was set out to be a blockbuster shooter action movie type of deal uh, with perhaps a bit of that classic 90s cheese kind of vibe to it. Now one thing that stood out to me was the variety of different enemies from bandits to ninjas and of course dinosaurs uh, as well as the overall fun factor that this one seems to be aiming for. And it's apparent to me that this is a game kind of meant to really parody some of the outrageousness of some action films and just to meant to be a fun, hopefully well polished title. And I'm definitely hoping that this one is as fun as it looks as I'm all for more IPs entering the gaming space in general. And PC VR and Quest users can wishlist this one right now, but much like Hitman, there isn't a definitive release date for Action Hero as of now. But this isn't the case for the next game showcased by Fast Travel Games, as the time-stopping shooter mannequin is officially going from early access to 1.0, in addition to dropping on Quest headsets upcoming on September 12th. And Mannequin is definitely something a bit different in terms of VR shooters, with the core mechanics of Mannequin being centered around asymmetrical 2v3 gameplay, in which, quote, two elite agents ruthlessly hunt on opposing side of three shape-shifting aliens known as Mannequins, Aliens hide in plain sight, blending in by posing as frozen human statues, ambush unsuspecting agents, dashing forward and freezing them in place with a single touch. And this is a pretty fun game guys from the very limited run that I've had with it, so if you're looking for a different kind of shooter, September 12th is the day for you. 
And for all my fellow VR gamers who have been itching for more Rock Band-like games this fall, Band Space is projected to release and there is currently a PC VR demo available and to me it is the absolute unequivocal best feeling drumming experience that VR has to offer at the moment. And you can definitely tell that this is a fast travel games produced title and the quality is definitely there and once again they are supposed to be dropping this in fall for all of us aspiring rock musicians at heart. And and transitioning from one well-known VR studio to one who's recently scored his first big hit, Combat Waffle Studios, the studio behind Ghost of Tabor, showed off a pair of new games as well to try and show that they are no one game wonder. And the first one that I'm bringing up today is Silent North, which looks to be an open world zombie survival title, uh, but in a hellish arctic climate with little other information presented at the moment, which is the same with the more interesting looking one of the two in my opinion opinion, Grim, which again sticks to Combat Waffles survival shooter bread and butter as this seems at least at face value to be more of the same with the caveat being that you will be playing as an astronaut and exploring different planets while attempting to survive. And again guys, not a ton of information was shown about these games, but we do know that the team is currently hard at work on both of these titles and that they are both projected to release for the Quest 3 and PSVR 2 headsets respectively. The next section of the showcase was definitely one showing some love to the VR community as this was focused on getting great games in the hands of new players. With Into the Radius 1 finally gracing the PlayStation VR 2 platform this September 19th, or the surprise hit Silent Slayer making its way onto Steam October 10th, and last but not least the PSVR 2 gem Fract making its way to the Quest headset ecosystem this August 29th thanks to End Dreams, a veteran VR studio who was very busy during the showcase as they also brought us the long-awaited gameplay reveal of their upcoming frantically paced PvP shooter Frenzies. And one of the unique gameplay mechanics that was highlighted during the showcase was the ever-changing randomized round types, whether it be domination, team deathmatch, or a friendly fire mode, End Dreams promises that no two rounds of Frenzies will be the same and that there will be a variety of playstyles that will be viable as they promise gamers a nice array of guns to use, portal jumping elements to explore, and the ability to customize both your avatar and the arenas themselves in this neon drenched battlefield. Frenzies goes early access guys this October and will be available for both Quest and PlayStation VR 2 headsets. But In Dreams, looking to further solidify its position as a premier VR studio hit us with yet another game and they seem to be very much in love with cell shaded action experiences at the moment as Vendetta Forever is a stylistic Tiger Blade-esque shooter where the gameplay revolves around a shoot to kill, kill to move concept with a very super hot VR meets Synapse kind of vibe to it. And admittedly, this is the End Dreams game shown that I was the least excited about as I feel like I've played this game about a thousand times in VR already, but I will be giving this one its fair shot as there is a demo available at the moment and will be available in its entirety this October for PSVR 2 and Quest platforms. But if you need something sooner than that, fans of the Cortopia Studios produced narrative puzzle game down the rabbit hole will be happy to know that its sequel Escaping Wonderland arrives September 26 for both Pico and Quest headsets and once again this game centers around a protagonist in Wonderland before the arrival of Alice so if you are looking for something more story or puzzle driven be sure to check this one out. This is the part of the showcase that I was undoubtedly the most hyped for folks as the concept of flat to VR studios the, the great developers behind one of my favorite VR mods of course the Half-Life 2 mod uh, coming together as a studio was a big announcement back in March and the announcement that they were working on multiple titles at the same time definitely had me chomping at the bit, but unfortunately, I feel that this was not only the biggest disappointment of the showcase, but the weakest part of the presentation as a whole, uh, and kind of a swing and a miss kind of moment. As fans, including myself, were hoping for ports of big name titles of platforms past in the same vein of their highly critically acclaimed Half-Life 2 mod, but instead, what we were treated to was, well, a mid-shooter at best in Wraith Aeon of Ruin, 
Yet another roguelike shooter, albeit a admittedly decent one in RoboQuest, a port of the absolute worst game in the entire Flat Out series, and truthfully some complete and utter bullshit with a trombone champ port that absolutely nobody asked for. And trust me guys, I get it, not every port can be a Half-Life 2 caliber title, but this quite frankly was not it at all and was ultimately a big disappointment in an otherwise very well put together showcase so here's the hoping in the future we can get a few bigger and better titles coming out of this very talented studio but that just about wraps up my vr game showcase overview uh, as well as the first episode of vr news now guys in the future they will be a bit more punchy i'm looking to keep them uh five to seven minutes around that mark but this first one kind of ran a little bit longer because I decided, hell, it's the first one. Let's make it a special, right? And with the VR game showcase just happening, I thought, what a better time. So I'm still kind of playing with the concept. So bear with me. I don't know if I'm going to do it every Monday or every other Monday, but I am looking forward to getting you guys some more consistent content. If you enjoyed today's video, consider liking and subscribing and let me know in the comments below what game showcase are you looking forward to playing the most? I am Too Damn Golden, your VR Voyager, and thanks for joining me in the simulation inside the simulation.